An incredible victory for the Ultimate Warrior there, becoming the first superstar to hold the WWE and Intercontinental Championships at the same time. A truly historic feat on the grandest stage of them all. A victory that signaled a new wave of change that was about to hit all of WWE. Rowdy Roddy Piper managed to change his luck in WWE when he captured his first championship in the company at the 1992 Royal Rumble. The wrestling world rejoiced for Hot Rod as the fiery superstar showed true emotion in the moment, revealing how much it meant to him. Once the most reviled man on the roster, he was now appreciated for his authenticity. Everyone was happy for him, except for one guy. Bret the Hitman Hart had changed his status in WWE in the spring and summer of 1991. When his legendary Hart Foundation amicably split the team, Bret would use the opportunity to springboard up the singles rankings, winning the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam that year. Wanting to be an active champion, Bret faced off against all comers, finding victory each time out. Until a few nights prior to the 1992 Royal Rumble, when Hart lost the Intercontinental Championship. And before he could get a rematch, Piper had swooped in and won the thing. The last thing the Hitman wanted to do was ruin Roddy Piper's moment. The two were close. Piper had trained in the family dungeon and spoke glowingly of not only Brett, but his entire family. I gotta tell you how much I love your family. I gotta tell you how much I love your mom. I know you, I know this guy since he's been out knee high to a grasshopper. Respectfully, the two agreed to compete at WrestleMania 8, which would emanate from Indianapolis, Indiana. But Piper understood that many felt Brett lost that title at less than 100% and that he'd have to defeat Hart in the ring to get those people on his side. And while both men claimed they'd keep it respectful, most everyone understood what happens when you push Roddy Piper to the edge. And trying to take something from Roddy Piper is one way to do it, especially when it's the first title he ever held in WWE. And so it was Bret Hart's technical mastery against Roddy Piper's street fight in an unheralded classic was produced by two absolute masters of their craft. And while they both tried to keep it friendly, he just knew it wasn't going to last. Nearly 20 furious minutes of action unfolded between the two, each with near victories along the way. Blood, sweat, and tears was never more appropriate. The two gave their all on the goal of earning the WWE Intercontinental Championship. So get in there and do your best to beat Roddy Piper to the punch. But beating Hot Rod is no easy task, even if you are the best there is, the best there was, or the best there ever will be.
Brick.